And now, ladies and gentlemen, your second bound for the versus Grand Prix welterweight tournament. Fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 150.2 pounds, he stands six feet four inches with a record of one win, one loss, and one draw. He represents Pasadena, California. Please welcome Jared Anvesa Ijugu. Fighting out of the red corner, his opponent weighed in at 151.6 pounds. He stands six feet with a record of zero wins and zero losses. He represents Irvine, California by way of Tehran, Iran. Please welcome Erdogan, Suspect Mulaney. Your referee for this bout, the Honorable Victor Beltran. Both men making their versus fighting championship debut. They look hungry. They look ready to prove something here. Let's see how they do. We are a mere seconds away from the bell. And here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. The bell is on. It is showtime. Those of you watching at home, uh, Ijigo out of the blue corner in the blue gloves and Moeni in the red corner with the red gloves. And here we go, Moeni really pouring it on. Ijigo, Ijigo landing some solid elbows there. And there we go. We got a trip from the clinch. And that's what Moeni. happens when you lock horns too long, especially when you're as aggressive as these two fighters. You're down to go down to the canvas, and that's exactly what happened. Both men back up, got their bearings, now going back after each other. Look at the, look at the kick. Look at the reach right now by Ijigu. Ijigu has very, very long arms. He's uh, noticeably taller than his opponent. And uh, I know Mo Moeni is uh, six foot tall, so Ijigu's a, a tall guy. And you got to wonder, does that size advantage, is that going to help him with strikes? Absolutely. But you know what? It's Ooh, going to be very, very difficult to, to the protect face. that much body. And that's what I'm talking about, Molina. You have so much open space when you are that tall. Both these fighters seem to want to really, really engage in the clinch. It's very interesting. Aggressive behavior does both fighters have. Ooh, oh, that might have been Ijigo landed. That kick just skimmed him. Ooh, good kick from Ijigo. Oh, and a spinning back kick from Moheni. Wow. And it was by pure luck that Ijigo stepped forward oh! and said that. Oh, my goodness. And here we go. Knee, knees now back to the corner, pushing him back. Jigu now stepping back, but out comes Artifan. You never know what's going to happen here. Fantastic kick there by Jigu. Pushing back now to the ropes. Both men don't want to let go, they have to jog for position. Back now down to the corner. You know what? You can only fight out of that corner for so long before somebody takes advantage of you. You need to get back to the center of that ring. Otherwise, you don't have a snowball shot in hell of coming out of that alive, Molina. And here we go, the referee breaking it up. Both these fighters, again, seem to really want to work something from the clinch. It's very interesting to see. You see working. The GU has Moeni up against the ropes. But earlier, the position was reversed. So both these fighters... Uh, seem to have a similar game plan here, similar style of fighting. And definitely a little bit similar style of fighting. It's a little bit questionable about Ijigu's, uh, the, the, the amount of, uh, and I don't want to say lack of control, but, but kind of throwing caution to the wind and fighting everywhere, and that'll catch him right there with the leg kick to the ankle. You ain't going to be able to walk much after that, and there goes the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, 
very, very interesting uh, first round. Ijigu, Ijigu definitely, definitely is much taller. He's trying to use his height to an advantage, uh, but he's using the clinch a lot. Uh, I'd like to see him step back and keep Moeni at, his, at a distance. If not, not only is he tall, he's really, really lanky. His legs are long. His arms are long. Uh, I'd like to see him use that to his advantage and keep Moeni away, keep him at a distance. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how, that, how to score that first round. I really don't. Yeah, that was definitely a little bit interesting, um, in my opinion, there, uh, to uh, Molina. I, I will agree with you. I think that Ijigu has a profound advantage in this fight, and that is the fact that his limbs are so incredibly long. But you're not going to be able to utilize your limbs when you are clenched up like that. You need to create your distance and then strike uh, from a few more inches away. And down goes it's Ijigu! A great, it's a great shove by Moeni. Ijigu did not like that. And, and Moeni gives a push kick to Ijigu's face. Ijigu shaking his head. Seems very flustered, frustrated. Yeah, there, there's there's definitely a little bit of, uh, of frustration here. He's, he's kind of losing and again now. And I, I don't like to say uh, a, a loss of control, but he really needs to kind of get himself uh, more composed here if he wants to have uh, a, a shot here at, at beating Artaban. And Moeni keeps tripping Ijigu. And you see now, Moeni now has a cut over Moeni. his lip. Spinning back kick. Ijigu shakes his head no. And Ijigu responds with a push kick to the face. Now here we are again in the clinch. And notice how Ijigu is looking for head position. In the clinch, that's what Ijigu was searching for there. Ijigu now using that those lank, those, those lankly limbs to his advantage with the kicks. But that may not be enough. With Moeni now tied back up to the clinch. Molina, I don't believe the clinch is going to be working very effectively for Ijigu. He needs to make sure that he creates that distance. Well, what Ijigo's really struggling in the clinch, because what Moeni's doing is he's pushing his hips into his opponent. Moeni is making it so Ijigu can't land anything from the clinch. It seems like Ijigo really, really wants to land these knees, but it's Moeni who seems to me to be a little bit more dominant in the clinch position. Dominant definitely uh, a, a, a little bit more composed and you know what you got to figure this that that that, that Moeni has a cut over Ooh. his lip You know what that means is that Ijigu's strikes are going to be very very effective if utilized properly. He needs to capitalize on that Good push kick by Moeni Ijigo. Oh, we got a low blow there. It looks like it might have been accidental. And you can't blame Moeni for that. You know, Ijigu is just so damn tall. He tried to kick him in the head, and that's as far up as he could go. Referee now having some words with the heart of man to go back to check on Ijigu. Let's see if Ijigu could continue. He's going to give him a little bit more time. To compose himself and get back into this fight. Jigu now checking to make sure the two are still in those trunks. All right, Jigu looks to be Grimacing in a considerable pain. amount of pain. And who wouldn't be? I, I mean, I am, and I wasn't even in there. Here we go. Ooh, and it, and Moeni did a great job leaning back on Ijigo's kick. Good, good deep kick by Ijigo. Ijigo steps forward. Good deep kick again by Ijigo. And he not only, you know, Ijigo not only has almost had to catch him, almost had to catch him, Molina, almost had to catch him. That was scary. You don't want to see a couple hundred pounds coming at you. Wow. It's very, very interesting, that, that second round. I mean, it's it's so close. I, I don't see any fighter being uh, convincingly more dominant than the other. They both seem to enjoy the clinch, uh, you know, but but I, I think Ijigu can utilize 
his 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 length a little bit more effectively. I'd really like to see him come out and start doing that. He seems to be the one initiating the clinch, but then Moeni is really throwing his hips in hard, staying really tight to his opponent. And he goes so long that his limbs can't, his knees can't come up and around the opponent. So I, I think Moeni's doing a great job responding to Ijigu's initiation of the clinch, but I, I'd like to see something change up here. Yeah, very good point, Molina. The, the, uh, and, and, and as I as I had said before, he needs to use those long limbs to his advantage. Those long limbs are not going to help him in that clinch position. Um, but you know, Moeni has he, he has that advantage of composure over Ijigu. But Ijigu is, is going to decide to lay caution to the wind. And that may prove to be his undoing here right now as he's pushed against those ropes. Getting pushed back to the corner now is Ijigu going back in. The referee's going to have to break it up. Molina, how devastating would that be if Artivan were just to capitalize on that <laughs> corner? Absolute menacing right now. Ijigu now goes back down again. You know what? Honestly, you have to make sure that you have... Oh, my goodness. Wow. Almost got him again. These fighters are really going after it this round. This is a dangerous place to be if you're commentating. <laughs> Ooh, and Ijigo oh. just misses that knee, or that elbow, excuse me. And going head first into a corner is a very bad place to be anyway, considering the corners are a little bit stiffer than the rest of the ring. Not only that, but the fact of the matter is he went down almost on his neck, and that could be very, very damaging, possibly career-ending. Needs to make sure he gets out. But now comes Artivan taking Ajigu to the corner, doing a do -si do spinning around from one side to the other. This is insane. Wow. You know that song, It's Rain and Men. Here they are. Here we go. Oh, and then he lands a solid right hand with a spinning back fist. Great job by Moeni closing the distance. And you know what? That might very be the situation that's going on. Maybe Moeni is closing the distance and Ijigo doesn't like that. So that's why he's initiating the clinch. Ah, uh, very good observation. Very good observation. Ooh, that's true. Good right elbow from Ijigo. Is that Moeni comes in, he keeps on closing the gap. He doesn't give himself to have the ability to have that distance. And when you take off of that distance, he has very, very little defense against Moeni at this point. Ooh, good, uh, good right hand from Moeni. Jigu looks tired, looks very tired up there right now. Good uppercut by Jigu. Oh, oh missing it with a spinning back missing. kick. Wow. With the spinning punch, but nonetheless, nonetheless, Ijigu now slipped down, and down goes Moeni! A few seconds left, a few pivotal seconds left in this match, just 10 seconds left, lay it all on the line, give us everything you have, and make sure you leave it all on the ring, boys. One person is might be $10,000 richer. Let's hear from both these gentlemen. And now for your winner, by unanimous decision, finding out of the red corner, Artemis Suspect. Oh.